Hi, I'm Staley Weidman with the Catamaran Company. We're at the Miami International Boat Show. This is Endless Horizon, a 2020 Sun Reef 80 sailing cat. We just had built for a client. Uh, we were involved with the build on this uh, from the very beginning. And I'll show you some of the unique design aspects that we incorporated in this for our client. This boat's available with a galley down or a galley up. We did this 80 with a galley up. The owners like to entertain, they like to cook, so we gave them a first class gourmet kitchen. But they also know that they'll have people on board that want to hang out, maybe have coffee in the morning. So they set up a separate coffee bar here. Uh, they can plate and, uh, and serve here without actually being specifically in the galley. Uh, we got a sink here, ice maker, a fridge. We have two Miele wine fridges here. And these are actually trays that fill in this space but lift up and can be used for serving. And we have storage in all of these for uh, appliances and various other things that may not be used all the time, like a mixer, for example, or a blender. As we go forward, we have the forward opening door. This is hydraulically actuated. We have a controller here that will close the door. And it also has a positive locking system, so there's a separate button that before you go underway will positively lock this door to make it super secure and 100% waterproof. So this table uh, slides out to where uh, you can sit all the way down here, slides out or can slide in for dining. We can move some chairs around. We have a button here to raise or lower the, the table so we can bring it up for uh, dining height or lower it for coffee table height. So we chose Miele appliances for this build. Um, the owners had good luck with them and they have a very high end line that fits perfectly with the boats. So we have an insert here to where we can store some things in the back. We the five burner stove. We have an overhead uh, vent that vents um, overboard. Area here for an herb garden. We did a spice rack uh, incorporated here, makes good use of this space, easily accessible. Here we have a dishwasher, microwave, oven, there's power outlets all over. And we have two refrigerators here, these both uh, open up so they're accessible to the chef. And there's a area down below here. This is kind of a crew area. So we have two, um, we have one cabin here aft with sleeping for two. And then we have an area down here that I'm gonna show you that has a sink, a freezer, another fridge, um, an area to do laundry. There's a washer and dryer there. It's an area for the crew to, uh, to dine or have uh, some space to themselves or uh, do some other domestic things on board. Um, and there's all places for all of that to, to store inside the boat. Here we have an inside helm station. We have a set of throttles here. There's autopilot controls to steer the boat as well as a wireless autopilot. 
Uh, we built this boat with a system called a Dockmate. That is a wireless device that the captain can use anywhere on the boat. Uh, it has a twist knob so you can actually twist the boat and that will control both the engines and both the bow thrusters and allows you to deploy uh, either one of the anchors. So even though it's a really big boat, devices like that really help uh, with the shorthanded crew. Here at the helm station, we have another display. We've got two helms on the flybridge. There's an iPad here. It can be used anywhere. It controls lighting, technical information, fuel tanks, water. We have two uh, generators that are made by Kohler that synchronize. They turn on independently, but have a controller to where both of them can power the boat at the same time. We can control that here on this display. And the captain and the owner also have an app on their phone that allows them to access all of this information wirelessly, whether they're on the boat or off the boat. So here at the inside helm station, we have uh, two engine controls here. These are multi-function displays. We have the controls for the two uh, water makers. There's one in each hull. And this is the control for both the generators. You can see Gen 1 and Gen 2. You can turn these on, have one on standby, have them both power together. Um, if the load demand picks up, it'll turn on another generator. If the load drops off, it'll turn off one of those uh, generators that's pre-programmed to shut down. We have a Victron energy control. This controls the inverters, the batteries, the charging systems on the boat. And then we have a FLIR control. We have an infrared camera at the top of the mast. It's uh, 115 feet high. And the visibility to be able to zoom in is really incredible. And that comes up on all the screens uh, here and also on the flybridge. We're in the starboard midship cabin. This is the owner's cabin. It's the largest cabin in the, in the boat. We did a number of different um, design changes here. Uh, we built in this uh, the settee. We had some discussions about doing a, uh, an office, but really didn't feel that that would be necessary. Inside these areas, we have 110 volt and 220 outlets. We have those throughout the boat. We also have QI chargers for uh, cell phones. We put these inside and outside the boat all over. So you can put your iPad or your phone there to charge. These are some lamps uh, that we worked with our designer to uh, choose, and I think they really look great with the decor. Uh, Sunreef helped us out with the uh, upholstery choices. Everything you see here came from Sunreef. Uh, they have an in-house uh, upholstery department that really does fantastic work, and collaborating with them allowed us to get a extremely high-end finish. One thing you'll notice in all the cabins and in the boat, there's no vents for air conditioning or heat. What we've done is we've concealed all of those vents. So up in this space here is actually where the cold air flows out for the air conditioning. We spec this boat with uh, two chillers and we augmented that with a high capacity system for use in the Caribbean. We have 180,000 BTUs of air conditioning on the boat in a chilled water system. So by using this type of uh, ventilation, we get a positive flow through the boat. It's very quiet and it's concealed. You don't see metal louvered vents anywhere in the boat. Um, and it gives it a very nice clean look. Here we did a walk-in closet for the owner. So he's got plenty of storage there. Plus there's cabinets all the way down this side with uh, storage. There's storage up underneath the berth. Uh, this actually lifts up and we have uh, storage there. There's an electric actuator that lifts it up and we have drawers on, uh, on both sides. Here you can see this uh, beautiful marble finished material. This is actually 5 mil uh, porcelain. It's a super high-end Italian uh, product. It's lightweight, extremely uh, durable and looks fantastic. We've used it throughout the boat. Uh, we've done the, the same material as uh, table surfaces in the salon, flybridge, and aft cockpit. Here you can see we've got a large uh, walk-in shower with a rain shower head uh, on a bench. And we chose all the fixtures here, all of the lights, all the materials, the towel holders, hooks, everything. And we had those placed in the boat very specifically where we felt it would be best for our owner. This is the starboard forward cabin. You can see that the decor is different from the other cabins. Each one's slightly different, but they all match and flow very nicely together. We've got a separate head and shower here, television. Uh, in the owner's cabin, we have a lift and all the guest cabins, we did uh, brackets. 
We also have the audio system in each one of the cabins that's uh, Bluetooth connected. Once again, you can see we have the uh, concealed ventilation here and the signature sunroof windows. So these are typically in the cabins configured so as you wake up, you're looking out onto the water. So this is the crew area. We have a, a, a table and chairs that's come out into this space. We also have uh, a freezer, another huge freezer. They're all stocked up getting ready to head down to the Virgin Islands uh, tomorrow. Another freezer here. And in this space, we have a dryer. And here we have a washer. Also, there's loads of storage space for things like ironing, cleaning products. And this whole area has cabinets all around it. There's a separate sink there. This is really interesting. This is a place where they put some of the cookware that's not uh, used all the time. Uh, stored here in this uh, magic cabinet. And then here in the floor, there's a huge amount of storage. And what we did is we built a set of storage racks in there to store beverages. So there's uh, crates and bins with uh, drinks and wine and things like that um, that don't need to be temperature controlled. Well, you can see how deep the space is. It goes quite a distance forward. We also have space aft. Uh, there's a water heater back here and a lot of things stored there. And if you look down here, these are the racks that we built in. So we got a lot of canned goods there. Nice, cool, dark, and dry. This is one of the crew cabins aft on the port side. You have a nice double berth, head and shower. All nicely finished in the same decor as the boat. We're in the port side midship cabin. And when we were outside of the boat earlier, this is the window that I was standing in front of on the dock. A little bit smaller head here. This head has a sliding door. Gives you an idea of the versatility that we can do, whether opening or sliding. There's a little more space in the head and shower area. Bursts are set up the same. Still the same nice decor that matches the rest of the guest cabins. And we have some uh, storage here in the cabinets, flat screen TV, audio system, and quite a nice closet for a guest cabin. We are port side forward cabin. What's in front of here is a storage compartment that's accessible from the deck. It's enormous. Um, it can also be configured as a crew cabin if you prefer. Uh, on this boat, we did the crew cabins aft. Uh, it's a little bit smaller uh, head and shower area. Still beautifully uh, appointed. Storage here. We have a closet. Build, we did an integrated handrail here. Uh, it doesn't snag, it's concealed into uh, the bulkhead and quite easy to grip. So starboard side aft, we have a crew cabin here with two bunks and a head and shower. Only cruise head and showers, very nicely appointed for cruise quarters.